we left off last Sunday, the question that I want to ask to you, how do I overqualify for my present assignment? How does that happen? <coughs> because I understand if you taught me last week, I can never move forward until I perfect it where I'm currently at. How, Pastor Martin, do I get to the place to where I'm overqualified? And this is the first thing, write this down. You must train somebody to replace you. You must train someone to replace you. My first step, if I want to over, become overqualified for my present assignment, my first step is that I've got to train someone to replace you. You cannot since leave and enter into your future until you train somebody to replace you. Your future. You cannot leave your future, your present and walk into your future until you place, help train somebody to replace you. It will never happen. God will keep you in a place of stagnation. He will keep you going in circles until you overqualify for the assignment he first gave you. How do I walk into my future? I, I, in other words, I'm fighting for my future. You got to understand this, that, and I've said, let me keep saying, battle is the seed for territory. Write that down. Battle is the seed for territory. Battle is the seed for territory. That means that I have to go through a battle in order to obtain new territory. I've got, in other words, I've got to go through a fight to get to the next level in my life. If you're always staking and running away from a fight, you would never ever obtain the new promised land God has for you. Right. And that's what many of us do. We have a fight, we see a fight, and what we do, instead of facing the fight, despite of not knowing what's going to happen, despite not knowing the outcome, despite not knowing if we're going to survive, we will run the other way. Oftentimes, hear me, the fight is within yourself. Yes, yes. Most of the time, you're fighting yourself. Right. You're fighting something that's deep inside of you. Right. You're fighting your own fears. You're fighting yes. your own anxieties. You're fighting your own depressions. You're fighting your own self. I preached it last night. We had an awesome time in the Lord at Promised Land. And I said, God got to get you to the place to where he separates you from you. Yes. Right. yes. Separate you yes. from you. That's right. And and, and, and how, 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 I, 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 I start blaming other people. I start blaming my job. I start blaming my lack of education. I start blaming my husband. I start blaming my environment. I start blaming everybody that, 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 that I can get my hands on. But oftentimes, the reason why I'm still in my current situation is because of me. Write this down. Your future is decided mm -hmm. by whom you decided to trust. That's right. Your future is decided by whom you decided to trust. Who hand have you placed your hand? 
Who has that influential power over your life that causes you to make any type of decision? You do understand your decisions don't always come just from you. It comes because you have connected yourself to somebody. Am I teaching to somebody? And so in order for me to move into a new territory in my life, I understand I've got to go through a fight <coughs> to get to my future. Right. And David had to fight the Goliath. He had to fight Goliath in order to inherit the kingdom of Israel. Yes. It was because of the Goliath that he became noticed. It was because of the Goliath that would begin to, to, to train him to become the prince and the later king of Israel. In order for me to possess the new land, in order for me to become overqualified for my current assignment, I have to first train somebody to replace me. Are y'all still with me? 